I think, you know, some people may know me from books and stuff like that, but 95% of my week is, is pastor, you know, with a particular group of people in a particular part of the world. And, um, you know, I, I began to realize that I think that there is growing anxiety I've seen over the last few years. But what I've also seen too is how that anxiety, because it's viral and sticky, also sticks to leaders. Um, there is a sense, um, you know, particularly in American culture of a certain um, stature that pastors and, and reverends and, and ministers had, um, and that's fading away quickly. And so there's a sense of what that begins to do is it begins to attack your vocation, your calling. Um, when you may be, you know, people watching this may be like, yes, my congregation is anxious, but perhaps my family's anxious. And then you go to the next question that, hang on, I'm anxious in the midst of all of this. So I think I, I, God took me on a journey. Um, I think before coming to this, you know, like the last two years have been particularly acute and, um, acute and, no, that's a word, acute um, anxiety. But I think God took me on a journey to really look at the anxiety that was in me. And a really helpful um, book that I read a few years ago that a mentor recommended to me was Edwin Freeman's um, book, a, um, a Failure of Nerve, which the concept of, of a non-anxious presence um, uh, is, is, is describes in that book. And the argument he makes is that leaders are ultimately non-anxious presences. That we often think of a leader as someone who's got the most charisma, the most positional power, um, perhaps is the best speaker. And he actually argues that in an anxious system, the person who shows a lack of anxiety, people will look to. To, to go back to my cinema analogy before of there's people screaming in a cinema, if someone stood up who didn't have a uniform on and said, everyone, calm down, here's the exit, please walk carefully towards it, people are going to look at that person as the leader, even if we don't know who they are. So I began to realize that I had to look at the anxiety that was in me and I had to bring that before God and I had to actually you know, look to the peace of God and then actually the change changing anxiety is not just talking about it it's actually something that's got to be done in me that i needed to step into being a non-anxious presence so i think learning that a few years ago uh, and god take me on that journey was something which i think set me up in a good stead to lead through the last two years